Soinil is a soil reinforcement technique used for protection and stabilization of natural or excavated slopes. The technique improves the overall stability of in-situ slopes and restrains the slopes on failure. The technique also has advantage of strengthening the slope without accessing earthwork to provide construction access and working space either for permanent or temporary purposes. First thing first, the position of soil nails in a grid pattern are to be set out. So we have, to we have to ensure that the horizontal and vertical spacings are correct and the inclinations and the angle of inclinations are also checked during the survey. Then we mark the position with pegs. Typically, the spacing of horizontal and vertical of the soil nails are 1000 to 1500 mm, while the angle of inclinations are 15 to 35 degrees. Then the drilling machine will be mobilized to the soil nail position. The drilling rod is then positioned and adjusted to the specific angle of inclination, which is at mentioned 15 degree. Then the operation of drilling will be started, and at the same time, the drill soil will be flushed out by air. Here we can see that the air is flushing out the soil during the operation. This is how the machine, which is called the leader, has multiple pieces of extension that is used to extend the drilling rod manually. The video shows when it's done drilling, the workers are pulling the extension out one by one manually. Then, the steel reinforcement, which has a size of typically T20 to T32, has a length of 12 meter, will be inserted into the drill hole. Then, the grout will be pumped into the drill hole from the bottom of the drill hole. This is also to ensure that the soil at the toe level of the drill hole will be flushed out along with the grout to ensure the soundness and quality of the grout used in constructing the soil nail. The installation process of other soil nail at other positions will be repeated until the entire slope is completed. Then a garnite wall will be sprayed as per required in the construction drawing. Upon completing the garniting work, base plate will need to be installed and locked off. Then, we will prepare the formwork mold and top up with cement and sand mix to construct the soil nail cap, which will look something like the second picture in which I will show in a second. Now, let's move on to modelling and analysis. The model shows a slope that is without reinforcement. According to the slope stability analysis software, the factor of safety of the critical slip surface is 0.606 which is actually lower than 1, which means it will be very likely to slip off. After adding soil reinforcement to the slope, the factor of safety for the most critical slip surface is 1.618. This shows that the slip surface will be unlikely to slip off. The factor of safety is also satisfactory according to the design code. From the local practice, the soil near diameter are typically 100 to 150 mm, but the steel reinforcement ranges from T20 to T32. The spacing of the soil nails are typically 1000 to 1500 mm center to center with a typical inclination of 15 to 35 degrees. We have built a slope that is similar to what a real life slope would look like using soil and then we place some weight on top of the soil until it collapses. In a few seconds, we can see from the side until a certain weight was added, which is about 26 kg according to our estimation and calculation based on the amount of paper and its unit weight, the slope became unstable and started crumbling down.
apparently, the slope hasn't even moved a little bit even after the same amount of weight is placed on top. Therefore, we try to put more weight on top and see how much weight it can sustain before it fails. Unfortunately, before the slope collapsed, our piles of paper which were not evenly placed on top has caused the paper towel to fall. However, from the side view, we can see that even when the piles of paper and report has fallen, the slope was sturdy and does not even move an inch. Alright, I hope you find this video helpful for you to understand soil and its purpose better. Thank you for watching.